Hey guys, so I'm gonna show you guys how to slay your lace frontal, honey. Gonna show you how to lay those baby hairs and how to bleach those knots to perfection. Alrighty, so these are the items you're going to need to lay that frontal to perfection. You're gonna need some BW2 bleach, some 40 developer, and some color corrector drops. All these things can be found at Sally's. So you're going to go ahead and mix the bleach and the developer together. You want it to be a thick creamy consistency you don't want it to be runny at all and then also add about two to three drops of the color corrector and that's just going to take out any brassiness that may come from bleaching the frontal so this is pretty much what you want the consistency to look like you want it to be thick and not runny because when you place this bleach on your frontal you actually want it to sit on the frontal and not seep through the hairs bleaching the hairs the main focus here is to actually bleach the frontal not the hairs so when you're placing this bleach on the frontal make sure you are tapping it on without adding pressure also be sure to bring that bleach past your hairline just to make sure everything is bleached. Now I did let my bleach sit for about 15 minutes, but I did watch it just to make sure I didn't over bleach the lace. Once you feel like the knots are bleached, go ahead and rinse the bleach out. Because I did add a chemical to this frontal, which was bleach, you definitely want to follow up with a neutralizing shampoo. And a neutralizing shampoo will just stop the chemical from continuing to process. The wig that I'm using today in this video is from RPG Hair. It is their Brazilian Virgin Body Wave 360 wig with 130 density. So let's go ahead and get into the hairline. So the hair is still wet and I'm actually just wetting the roots just to see how the hairline looks. They did a pretty good job with plucking the hairline and creating some baby hairs, but I wanna go in and pluck a little bit more along the hairline and cut the baby hairs just a little bit more shorter. So I am pleased that the company went on ahead and did some of the work for me with the hairline and the baby hairs, but I just needed to look a little bit more realistic. So I'm going to be taking some small pieces of the baby hair, and here is the key to laying perfect baby hairs. When you are cutting, you want to use a razor comb and you want to cut in layers. You want to cut in an angle. That is the key to having perfect baby hairs and definitely don't cut too short start off long take your brush with some gel on it and just swoop the baby hairs just to see if it is to your liking if it's too long cut it if it's too short <laughs> I don't know, you gotta make it work, sis. Uh, but that's the main reason why you don't cut too short. Always cut longer than what expected. So just take you some gel and just start swooping the hair, you know, along the hairlines just to see what type of look you come up with. And I'm just playing around actually with this. Also, another important key, guys, is, guys, is just take your hands and swoop the hair back. Um, I did try to do this without using my fingers to swoop the hair back and it didn't look as good. So definitely just take your finger and kind of guide the hair to where you want it to go. That helps a lot. So let's go ahead and move on to the parting. This bleaching on the frontal is A1. Like do you see how beautiful this unit is and the bleaching is perfect perfection honey i told y'all i'm going to show you how to make perfection on your wig so i'm going to move on to the other side and as you can see the hairline is real thick it doesn't look quite natural so i'm going to go in again and pluck in, uh, that hairline to get it to look a little bit more natural and a little bit more thinned out especially because when it comes to baby hairs most of the time it is like a thinning behind the baby hair so this is pretty much what the frontal looks like after i thin it out and to kind of play with the baby hairs i'm going to wet the hair again and not add any gel because it's already gel in the hair from me previously trying to lay the baby hairs so i'm just going to take a brush again and i'm just going to swoop it and you see how i'm using my fingers to guide the hair where I want it to go and then just push it on up into your hairline. And you keep on doing it. It's very, very simple and easy. It just takes practice 
and cutting the baby hairs properly so that it lays properly. That's a major key. So this is pretty much what it looks like when it's done, um, but it's still too full for me. So I'm going to go in, I'm going to tweak a little bit more in between those baby hairs. And this is totally optional. If you don't want to do this, you definitely don't have to. You can get away with doing it just like this. But I want to tweak it a little bit more because it's not looking as natural as I want it to look. To so go in, look, pluck, look pluck just don't be plucking away sis because then that's how you get a bald spot in your units and we don't want that so see it's already looking much better in my opinion by just kind of thinning out the edges just a little bit and here's another tip too guys if you find your baby hair is not swooping to your liking, don't add more gel. Add more water. Take a spray bottle with water in it and spray it directly on the hairline and then reshape your baby hair. Because adding a lot of gel will make your baby hairs look greasy and clumpy and flaky and that ain't the look that we want sis so this is pretty much how the baby hairs look after i'm done laying everything down and i'm just continuing to spray water just to kind of get the hair to lay and fall the way that i want it to and then you can take the end of your comb to kind of push the hair back and this also helps like separating or layering the baby hair so it sticks out more it's kind of hard to explain but i'm sure you guys saw what I just did in the video it helped separate the baby hair so it didn't look like one big baby hair I don't know I can't explain it so this is pretty much the wig when it is completely wet and the waves on here is sickening this is a very beautiful full wig um, the waves on here is really pretty I love the simple fact that the hairline came pre-plucked even though I had to do a little bit of tweaking but it wasn't as much tweaking compared to a wig that was not plucked at all I do like that they already had the baby hairs in the wig so it made it a lot easier when creating my own baby hair so this is a very very beautiful wig I just want to get a little bit closer on the wig just so you can see these waves like these waves are so freaking pretty and it goes great with these laid baby hairs honey baby hairs on fleek sis hope you guys enjoyed this video and remember practice makes perfection